we need to talk about flipped normals. Uh, flipped normals is a common problem. It happens in all kind of DCC projects and, and packages. So it's not something which is new to this world, but it's pretty annoying. Now, let me show you why it is annoying when you go to Unreal and why you should solve it and how you can solve it on the Rhino side of things. So if I take this file, I just save it and go to Unreal and do an import of it. So there's the Rhino file here. It's called Vista02. I just open it. Nothing special, no tricks or whatever. Uh, there's one empty thing inside there. We just click it away. And now if I turn this thing around, you can see immediately what happens. So if you look from the outside in, you don't see any material. If you look from the inside out, you see the material, like here. So if I rotate it like this, you will see it. And if it comes in this direction, it's gone. This has to do with flip normals. You can solve it on the material front by going to the material and going to the main material here. Because there's an option down here which says, here you go, two-sided. So if I turn this one on, and say apply. You will see how it looks like. It needs to update and there you go. Now it has the material also on the other side of the normal direction. So this is what happens. So this is how it's supposed to look in the end. But you shouldn't be using uh, this material with the two-sided if you can avoid it and avoiding uh, because it's important for for creating things like light mass calculations and so on so we need to find a way to solve this problem and or at least as much as possible so we have to go back to Rhino if you go to Rhino and you have a look at the properties you will see down here with view there's more options underneath there there's display mode and there's one for shaded for instance. So my viewport is now showing here back face settings which is actually the normal facing the wrong direction in a certain color yellow. If I just to prove my point make it red you can see it immediately changing. So what you can see is that most of the parts are have their normals facing the wrong way apart from this thing so if we go back to Unreal just to see if I'm correct, you will see this part, that's the that one, the small one. And you see this one is pointing in the, ro the right direction. So normals are pointing up, so that's why we see the material down here. This is the bottom, there's no uh, material visible down here because now the normal is facing the other way. Or is pointing the other way, that's why it's not being shown. So, <coughs> what we can do now inside Rhino is we can either go to Analyze menu, use Direction, or we just type in DIR, DIR, and hit Enter. Select objects for direction display. So now I know this one is facing the wrong side, so I select it, I hit my Enter key, and it shows the direction of the normals. Now if I click with my mouse on the surface, it will switch them to the other direction. So hit enter again and now you can see the blue color which is the color of the layer. So now it's pointing the proper direction. So select it, hit enter, click with the mouse, hit enter again to change it direction. So face this one, that's the procedure. So you select it, you click, you press enter, you select it, you enter, you click with your mouse, hit enter. Select it, hit enter to show the normals, click, there you go. So I will do all of these quickly, so the bigger ones, and then go to the other side, click, select, enter, click, and let's do this one as well. Let's keep it like this. Now let's save out the file to show the difference. So now if I save as and I use my name in front of it like this, override it, yep, and go back to Unreal and import it. Import CAD. <coughs> so this one, I need this one. Import. 
and again it will show me the empty one I haven't looked at which object that is so don't worry about it so here we go we now have two of these cars parts this was the first one the wrong with the wrong normal side this is the second one with the proper normal directions so if I now turn around you can see that the outside when I'm looking when the normal is pointing towards me I can see the material if the normal is not pointing towards me which is on the inside of this part it doesn't show the material but there it is again so this is how you solve it in the Rhino side and remember it's really important that you have as many of the faces you can uh, uh, normals you can pointing in the proper direction because you need it for light mass calculations and these kind of things so it's it's an important thing and don't try to solve it by default by just going to your material and putting it on two-sided you should if you want to do it properly make sure that you solve the problem inside Rhino and import it in the proper way inside Unreal.